Hey everyone, Miss Whitlock here. I just wanted to share a few subtraction strategies with you guys um, just to help your kids at home. Uh, tune in and I hope this helps. All right, for the subtraction strategies, I'm going to show the same problem with different strategies. So we're gonna have 424 minus 289, okay? There's a few strategies one, if they use the number line, they can actually add to subtract. So they're going to be finding the difference between 289 and 424. There's two ways to do the number line. <clears throat> One way is by going ahead and looking at the place and getting each digit to the number you need it to. Or you can work with friendly numbers. I'm going to start with friendly numbers first. So 289, if I just do plus 1, I'm at 290. From 290, I can see that if I do plus 10, I'm now at 300. Now, depending on your child, some of them can go ahead and see, oh, 300 to 424 is 124. Some may need to break it down more. It's okay. So from 300 to 424, that's plus 124. So to get my difference, I have to add my jumps. 124 plus 10 is 134 plus 1, 135. I can also do it where I'm still finding the difference, except this time I'm going to look at my final number to use that to help me. So if I want to get a 4 in the 1's place, I'm going to say, Nine plus what would give me a four in the ones place? And um, so nine plus five, so if I do plus five, that ends up with 14 ones. So I'm gonna keep four of those ones and add one to the tens place. So the eight is now a nine and then still 294. So now I'm looking at my tens place, I need a two. So nine plus what? And it's gonna have to be 12 tens um, could give me that. So 9 plus 3 tens, which is 30. So 9 plus 30, uh, the 9 tens plus 30. So 294 plus 30 brings me to 324. And last, I can see my final jump from 324 to get the four in the hundreds place plus 100. And that would give me still my jumps, 135. Same difference. Um, depending on where your child is in math, the friendly numbers may still be the way to go. Either way works just fine and is, is completely fine with what they are comfortable with. All right, another strategy is subtracting in parts. So when I subtract in parts, Again, I'm going to use the same problem, 424 minus 289. It can be written two different ways. So if I look here, 424, and I'm going to subtract in parts. So basically, I'm going to break down this number by the value of each digit. So 424 minus 200 is 224. So I've taken care of this too for the hundreds place. So now 224 minus 80, four minus zero is four. I can't take eight tens from two, so I have to make a trade. I trade 100 for 12 tens, for 10 tens, which gives me 12 tens, sorry. 10 tens makes the hundred that we traded plus the two tens I had. So 12 tens minus eight equals four and then we have 100 left. So we've taken care of the eight tens. Last, we need to look at the ones. So we're gonna minus nine ones. I can't take nine ones from four ones, so I'm gonna trade one of these tens. So one ten trades for 10 ones plus the four ones I have, 14 minus nine is going to leave me with five. 3 minus nothing is still 3, and 1 minus nothing is 1. So we still get the same difference, 135. Subtraction in parts can also look like this. 
424 minus 200 equals 224. So then 224 minus 80 equals 144. 144 minus 9 equals 135. You can see that we still found 424 minus 289. Our difference is 135. The last one is standard algorithm. So if we take 424 minus 289, Okay, I can't take nine ones from four ones, so I have to make a trade. I trade 110, which leaves me with 110, and add 10 ones for the 10 I traded to the four ones I have, so 14 minus nine, which leaves me with five. Now I'm at my tens. I can't take eight tens from 110, so now I have to trade 100 for 10 tens and add that to the 110 I have, so 11 minus eight, 11 tens minus 8 tens is 3, and 3 hundredths minus 2 hundredths is 100. So we still get the same difference, 135. I hope these strategies have been helpful for you. Again, the strategies are about helping each child in the classroom be successful. So your child should pick the one that they are most comfortable with and efficient in getting the correct answer. Thanks. Have a great day.